The topic of this video is simplifying radicals, nth roots. To find the nth root of a number c, we look for another number that, when raised to the nth power, gives us c. For example, to find the sixth root of 64, we must find another number that, when multiplied by itself a total of six times, gives us 64. If the sixth root of 64 equals box, then box times box times box times box times box times box equals 64. And we must put the same number in each box. In this case, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 64. Or said another way, 2 to the sixth power equals 64. Reversing this, this gives us the statement, the sixth root of 64 equals 2. Let's try a harder one. If the sixth root of 3 equals box, then box times box times box times box times box times box equals 3. There's no nice, easy, convenient, small integer that we can put in the box. We're going to get a decimal. In this case, 1.2 dot 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 times 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 1.2 dot 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 equals 3. We could also say 1.2 dot 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 raised to the sixth power equals 3. Reversing that statement, the sixth root of 3 equals 1.2 dot dot dot. All right, let's read this warning box. Warning. The sixth root of three, which equals 1.2 dot dot dot, is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. If we want an exact answer, we must leave it as the sixth root of three. If an approximate answer is acceptable, then we can round. The most important thing to pay attention to in this box is that if you round, your answer is approximate. If you do not round, then your answer is exact, and the only way you can write it is in radical form.